so it's been a while uh yeah welcome back to the channel uh we've got an old school down and dirty old star quick vid for you um this one plenty of people i'm sure get confused with this and i've had so many calls so i thought we'd um ping this into a quick run i've got a we've got to test the fuel pressure excuse the dirty finger we've got to test the fuel pressure on the on this fd um, because we've got some starting issues on it. So we want to check, make sure that um, we're getting sufficient fuel pressure from the pump. Anyway, um, down here, um, the often source of confusion is which one of these lines is the return, the feed and the emissions that goes to the charcoal canister PCB thingy. Um, sometimes they are labeled. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I think the yellow spot you can probably see on that one still. Yeah, let's see if I can get about the best I'm going to do, I'm afraid, guys, with the lighting. Um, so, to save confusion in future, the front line here goes onto the, the metal rails on the FD. This is your fuel feed from the pump. So if you're going to be putting a pressure gauge in there to read your fuel pressure, this will be what you tap it into. The top one out of the three, this is your emissions line, or PCV line, goes to your charcoal canister via the PCV valve and the little plastic chamber thing that lives under the elbow. The rear one, the rearmost line just tucked away here, that's your fuel return, so that goes back to the tank. So for instance, if you was gonna be installing a fuel pressure regulator on the vehicle, you would be basically taking your, your fuel feed or your line off of here into the bottom of your regulator before you then plumb it back down into the engine, not the engine bay, but the fuel system, fuel tank. Um, now to clear that confusion up, if you are doing a regulator, so we're going to be giving you a two for one here. Um, these lines, which are sat in the bay, you can see. So you want the outermost line, assuming they haven't been crossed over, your outermost line is the fuel feed. Your, the one next to it, the middle line is the return. And the one closest to the transmission tunnel, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, the one closest to the transmission tunnel is probably the easiest one to put it. The gearbox, so the innermost one is your PCV emissions thingy-majig. So basically, yeah, these two are the ones you're going to be using if you change it for a, like an upgraded fuel system. Um, sorry about the terrible camera work, but guess I'm out of practice and it is what I can find in it. But there you go.